What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to build this. This came out, I just, I don't know what to say, it came out beautiful. I hope you guys like this series, it's going to be a new series, going to have a couple videos coming out on this. Make sure to get subscribed, make sure to leave a like, so share it, blah, 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 blah. y'all know what I meant. Boom, roll it, let's do this, it's going to be fun. I brought my RC car. I was wondering, can can you fix it for me? It um, seems a little out of shape. Hell, I'm just the man you're looking for because I can fix anything. The, the steering's a little bit off, as you can see. Uh, can you fix that? That'd be good. Hell yeah, I can fix it for you. Of course I can fix it. Is it is it ready yet? I that's that's not my car, is it? Yep. Mm-hmm. That's your car. Mm-hmm. What did you do to it? What do you mean? I fixed it.
is to put the electronics and the motor in plus the steering servo although I'm I, I haven't got that stuff yet but this is the stock speed control that comes with it and it really can't handle too much but I remember when these came with a mechanical speed control now they come with a digital that's pretty cool here is the stock little motor that they give you which we're gonna run a 12 turn brush system in this one um, so we're not going to use their stock motor or their stock speed control system we'll just keep that for another day uh, I still have to attach a couple more key parts to the truck but like I said I, I can't do that like this this is um, how we're going to attach the motor but I don't have the motor yet to attach. I would have to say that the build was really good. Um, I ran into a few little issues here and there, mainly with compatibility. You see, this is a Grasshopper 2, okay? And then this is an original Grasshopper. The, there's a big difference in them. One, the way that the battery tray works, See how this one is you have one that slides in there and it has a notch this one it like slides in there and then you you screw it in which is nice uh, these rails that I bought these are the side guards these are meant for this that's why they all line up perfectly with this one this one right here they're not exactly lining up so I had to drill holes through the body so I could run these side mud guards, which I need to go ahead and attach this one next. <coughs> the arms on it and stuff, basically we went with all aluminum, the shock, everything. And then speaking of the shocks, if you look here, this is an aluminum shock tower. And you notice how these shocks are, right? The fronts are very, very different. So that was where the two main things I noticed between the original Grasshopper and then the Grasshopper 2, the second version. But anyway, I hope you guys like this. Our next video is going to be where we get the electronics put into it. After we get the electronics put into it, then we're gonna do a run, see how fast we can get it to go. But I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to give me a like. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers. And I need your help. It don't cost you guys anything. It takes one second to push that button. But it means everything to me. It's kind of a weird thing to ask for subscribers. But, I mean, if you guys dig it, you should dig it. The Grasshopper, man, this is awesome. I'm liking this thing. Beautiful. I hope you guys like this series. It's gonna be a new series. Gonna have a couple videos coming out on this. Make sure to get subscribed. Make sure to leave a like, so share it. Blah, 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 blah.